Think zombies only exist in horror movies? Think again, real-world zombies are more common than you might imagine. You might be picturing the undead rising from their graves, but nature's version of zombies is much more subtle and arguably much more fascinating. Let's delve into this strange world where parasites and pathogens turn their hosts into the living dead. I'm not talking about your typical horror flick but actual scientifically documented cases of zombification. We've got a lineup of five incredible instances of real-world zombies, each one stranger and more mind-boggling than the last. First off we'll be looking at a peculiar fungus that has a knack for turning insects into its personal puppets, manipulating their every move. Then, we'll shift our focus to a species of wasp that deceives spiders into becoming the perfect hosts for its offspring. Talk about a web of deception. We'll also dive into the chilling discovery of a 30,000-year-old giant virus unearthed from the frozen depths of Siberian permafrost. It's a tale of ancient danger rearing its head in our modern world. And if that's not enough to make your skin crawl, we'll be exploring the world of bacteria that hijack plants, converting them into zombies that serve their every whim. Each of these cases provides a glimpse into the eerie side of nature, where manipulation and control are the name of the game. It's a world where survival often comes at the expense of another's free will, where the line between the living and the dead becomes eerily blurred. So brace yourselves as we delve into the mind-boggling world of these real-life zombies. Greetings fellow cosmic explorers. Welcome to Cosmic Science Fiction, the channel where we embark on mind-bending journeys through the vast realms of the unknown. I'm your host to the mysteries of the cosmos. If you've been enjoying the cosmic wonders we've been uncovering together, don't forget to hit that like button. It's like fuel for our spaceship, propelling us further into the depths of science fiction's uncharted territories. And of course, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to Cosmic Science Fiction. Hit that subscribe button and join our crew on this interstellar adventure. By subscribing, you're ensuring that you never miss out on the mind-boggling content we have in store for you. Ever heard of Ophiocordyceps? It's a genus of fungi that turns insects into zombies. Today, let's uncover the eerie reality of this peculiar fungus, Ophiocordyceps, a name that sounds like it's straight out of a science fiction novel. But this is no work of fiction, this is a real-life horror story, playing out in the insect world. Now you may be wondering, how can a fungus turn an insect into a zombie? Well it's a tale of manipulation, control, and survival. The story begins when the Ophiocordyceps spores latch onto an unsuspecting insect, typically an ant. This is where the horror unfolds. The spores penetrate the ant's exoskeleton and infiltrate its body, starting a silent takeover. As the fungus spreads, it starts to take control of the ant's brain, or more accurately, its central nervous system. The ant, unaware of its grim fate, continues with its daily routine. But under the control of the fungus, the ant's behavior starts to change. It leaves its colony, climbs a plant, and clamps down onto a leaf with its jaws. This bizarre behavior is known as the death grip, and it's the fungus pulling the strings. You see the fungus needs a specific environment to reproduce, and it uses the ant to create the perfect conditions. Once in the death grip, the ant is essentially immobile, and the fungus continues to grow, feeding off the ant's nutrients. Eventually, the fungus sprouts out of the ant's body releasing its spores into the air, ready to infect the next victim. So the Ophiocordyceps turns the ant into a zombie, a puppet, an unwilling participant in the fungus's life cycle. It's an incredible example of nature's ingenuity, and a chilling reminder of the power of parasites. This is the reality of Ophiocordyceps, the fungus among us. A master manipulator that has perfected the art of survival. As we delve deeper into this phenomenon, we can't help but be fascinated and a tad terrified. After all, we're talking about a fungus that manipulates its host to ensure its own survival. Imagine a fungus that manipulates you to its advantage, chilling, isn't it? Scene script. Next up a wasp that turns spiders into zombies. Sounds unbelievable, here's how it happens. Imagine being a spider spinning your web when suddenly, you're stung by a wasp, a wasp with a plan. This isn't your average wasp, no, this is a parasitic wasp and it's just injected you with a potent cocktail of chemicals, turning you into its puppet. This wasp, known as the recliner vellus nielsini, lays its eggs on the abdomen of the spider after its paralyzing sting, but it doesn't stop there. The wasp's venom manipulates the spider altering its web-spinning behavior. Instead of spinning the typical web to catch prey, the spider starts spinning a different kind of web, a cocoon, 
This isn't just any cocoon though, this cocoon is a protective fortress designed by the wasp's chemical instructions embedded in the spider's brain. It's a sturdy reinforced structure perfect for the wasp's larvae to safely develop. The science behind this is fascinating. The wasp's venom somehow alters the spider's central nervous system. It's like a neurobiological hack, changing the spider's behavior to suit the wasp's needs. The precise mechanisms are still a mystery but it's clear that the venom interferes with the spider's web-spinning instincts, redirecting them to construct the cocoon instead. Once the cocoon is complete, the spider's job is done. The wasp larvae hatch, feast on the spider, and then take refuge in the cocoon, waiting to grow into adult wasps. And here's the real kicker, the spider, in its zombie-like state, doesn't even realize it's crafting its own tomb. It just spins, driven by the wasp's venom, until it becomes the first meal for the wasp's offspring. So, spiders unwittingly become architects of their doom, a real-life horror story. What if an ancient virus trapped in Siberian permafrost came back to life? It's not science fiction, it's science fact. Imagine this. Nestled deep within the icy confines of Siberian permafrost, a prehistoric behemoth lay dormant. Unseen, unheard of, for 30,000 years. This isn't the plot of a blockbuster movie but the story of a giant virus discovered recently. Scientists unearthed this microbial titan from its frosty tomb and to their surprise, found it to be not just alive but kicking. Now that's a wake-up call we weren't expecting. This virus, larger than any other known to humanity has been slumbering since the Pleistocene era. That's right, this virus has been around since woolly mammoths roamed the earth. But here's the kicker, this prehistoric pathogen didn't just survive its long sleep, it woke up hungry. When given amoebas to feed on in the lab, it promptly started to multiply. Now that's a breakfast of champions if you're a 30,000-year-old virus. But why should we care about an ancient virus? Well, it's not just about the virus itself, but what it represents. As our planet continues to heat up, the permafrost is melting, potentially releasing more of these ancient viruses back into the environment. It's like opening Pandora's box, with no idea of what's inside. It may sound like a thrilling mystery, but it's a mystery with potential consequences. You see, our immune systems have no experience with these ancient viruses, we've never encountered them before, so if they were to re-emerge and infect humans or animals, we might have a real-life zombie scenario on our hands. And unlike the movies, there won't be any heroes coming to our rescue. It's like a time capsule from the past, but one that could potentially bring about a zombie apocalypse. So next time you hear about global warming, remember, it's not just about rising sea levels and hotter summers. It could also be about waking up something that has been sleeping for 30,000 years. And trust me, it's not going to be happy to be disturbed. Zombies aren't just limited to the animal kingdom, some bacteria can turn plants into zombies too. Let's delve into the fascinating world of these botanical zombies. Bacteria, those microscopic beings we often associate with illness, have a few tricks up their proverbial sleeves too. Certain bacteria, like the Agrobacterium tumefaciens, have a knack for transforming healthy, vibrant plants into their mindless minions. Imagine this. The bacteria invade a plant, and then, like a skilled hacker, they insert a piece of their own DNA into the plant's cells. This DNA sequence carries instructions that fundamentally alter the plant's growth patterns. It's akin to a software update that completely changes the way your phone operates, except in this case, the update is far from beneficial. The plant, now under the control of the bacteria, begins to form tumor-like growths. These growths, known as galls, are nutrient-rich environments that the bacteria can thrive in. The plant, once a self-sufficient organism, becomes a mere puppet, its resources exploited to fuel the bacteria's growth. In essence, the bacteria turn the plant into a living factory dedicated solely to producing more bacteria. The plant's own needs and functions are pushed aside. It's no longer growing and thriving for its own sake. Instead, it exists solely to serve its bacterial overlords. But here's the kicker, the plant isn't dead. It's still alive but it's been stripped of its autonomy. It's become a zombie, its life hijacked and controlled by an invader. The science behind this is both fascinating and eerie. A clear demonstration of the power that tiny, invisible organisms can wield, yet, it also underscores the intricate and often ruthless strategies that life forms employ in their quest for survival. Who knew that even plants could fall victim to a zombie takeover? It's a chilling reminder that the world of nature is far more complex and mysterious than we often give it credit for. So, real-world zombies aren't just a figment of our imagination, they're a startling reality. 
We've explored the top 5 cases of zombieism in nature, each one more fascinating and eerie than the last. In our journey, we've seen how the Ophiocordyceps fungus takes control of insects, manipulating their behavior in a chilling display of nature's power. These tiny creatures are turned into mindless drones, their bodies hijacked by the fungus, showing us that zombies aren't just a thing of horror movies. We've also discovered the cunning tactics of a species of wasp, which manipulates spiders to spin protective cocoons for its offspring. This master of deception turns its host into a zombie. Its web of trickery spun to ensure the survival of its next generation. The discovery of a 30,000-year-old giant virus in Siberian permafrost was a stark reminder of the unknown dangers lurking beneath the surface of our planet. The potential for ancient viruses to resurface due to global heating adds a chilling twist to our understanding of the zombie phenomenon. And let's not forget the bacteria that alter the growth patterns of plants, turning them into zombies. These microscopic invaders show us that zombieism isn't confined to the animal kingdom. They bend their host to their will in a silent battle that plays out in our gardens and fields every day. Each of these cases highlights the incredible power of nature, its ability to manipulate, control, and transform. The science behind each case is both fascinating and complex, a testament to the intricate web of life on our planet. And while these zombies may not pose a direct threat to humans, they serve as a reminder of the potential dangers that could emerge. The next time you watch a zombie movie, remember, reality can sometimes be stranger and scarier than fiction.